In the Java Essential training course, I showed how to use an array list class to contain an order list of data. The array list is high performance and very easy to use, but it has a drawback. You can add new items to the end of an array list, but you can't arbitrarily place new items within it. And that's where the linked list class comes into play. I'll do a demonstration of the linked list class in this project, use linked list. As with previous projects, I have a set of classes I'll be able to use, a superclass named Olive, and subclasses named Golden, Kalamata, Ligurio, and Pickleline. I'll place the cursor into the empty main method, and I'll declare an instance of the linked list class. As with other collections, I can identify the type of object that will be contained within the list, and I'll use the superclass Olive. I'll name this object list, and I'll instantiate it with the class's constructor. Now, I'm going to add a couple of items to the list. I'll use list.add, and I'll instantiate a new instance of the pickleline object. Then I'll add a new instance of Kalamata. Next, I'll output the contents of the list. I can do it with the system out, as I've done before. I'll use the sysout code template and output the list. Then I'll run the code, and I'll see that I'm getting data back in the order in which I put it into the list. First pick a line, then Kalamata. I want to be able to see the list in order just seeing the names, though. So before I continue with this demonstration, I'm going to need a new method. I'll set it up as static, private, and void, and I'll name the method display. The method will receive an instance of any collection. This could be an array list, a list, a linked list, or any of the hash objects, such as hash map. It'll be a collection of objects data typed as all of and I'll name it col for collection. I'll make sure that I have an import for my collection class. And then within the new method, I'll first use system output and output a string of list order. Then I'll create an iterator. I showed in the essential training class that collections can generate iterators that you can use to loop through and see objects in their current order. This will be an iterator of all of objects. And I'll name it iterator. And I'll get its reference from the collections iterator method. I'll make sure that I have an import for the iterator class. Then I'll add a while statement. I'll type while and press control space and choose iterate with iterator as my code template. That loops as long as the iterator has a next object, and within the iterator, it creates a reference to the next available object. After I get that reference, I'll use a system out, and I'll output olive dot olive name dot to string. I'll save my changes, then I'll come back to the main method, I'll get rid of the system out, and instead I'll use my new display method and pass in the list. I'll run the code, and there's my current order. Pick a line, then Kalamata. OK, now I'm ready to add more objects to my linked list. And this is the point of this lesson. When you're using a linked list, you can add objects at any position in the list. So for example, let's say that I wanted to create a new instance of the golden class and position it after pick a line, but before Kalamata. I'd use a version of the add method that first receives an integer as the index position at which I want to place the object. I'll use 1. And then I'll instantiate my new object, golden. I'll save and run the code, and I'll see that the golden object has been placed between the two existing objects. Now I'll add one more object, and this time I'll use a method called addFirst. And I'll pass in a new instance of the Ligurio olive. I'll save and run, and I'll see that the new Ligurio object has been placed at the beginning of the collection and that all of the other objects have been pushed down in the order. So the linked list class 
can help you manage objects in a finer way than the array list. It gives you the ability to add objects in specific locations of the collection, and it'll retain that order as long as the collection stays in memory.